Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be making uh, this. This kind of movie poster cool um, thing. And I'm going to link the photos below if you want to download them. There's just two photos that are going to make this whole composition up. And if you just want to watch, that's cool too. So I always like to get started by um, just resetting my studio to default in case you want to follow along. And to do, th to do that, I go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. And I'm just working with a portrait canvas here. So like a letter or a legal size, anything that's in portrait mode will work just fine. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab this photo of the model and what I want to do is I want to isolate this model from the background So I just want him cut out. So to do that, I'm going to select the model here in my layers panel I'm going to go over to my selection brush tool, which is also W on your keyboard for a shortcut And I'm just going to try to grab this model as best I can here It's a pretty um, good contrast between him and the background. So it should be pretty simple. I'm going to zoom in by his uh, eyebrow here, his other eye, just to get a bit of that and a bit of his hair up here. And the composition we're making, it doesn't need to be exactly perfect, but this looks pretty good. So I'm going to refine the selection now. And I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's going to work just fine. So uh, in the re uh, refine selection window, I'm going to go down to output and I'm going to change it to new layer. So it isolates this um, cutout of this model on its own layer. I'm going to click that, hit apply. Then you will see in my layers on the side, this new layer has appeared. Um, it's called pixel, which is just the model. I'm going to delete the full um, picture because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to recall this one. I'm going to call this one new model dude. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do for this model is I want to turn um, it to black and white. So to do that, I'm going to select my uh, model layer here. I'm going to go down to my adjustments at the bottom of my layers panel, click on that, and I'm going to pick black and white out of here. And you'll see when I do that, black and white has appeared in my layers here. And I just want to make sure it affects this model. So to do that, I'm going to click on the black and white adjustment and just drag it over top of the model just to make sure it only affects the model. Now you can see I have a parent layer, which is the model, and I have the child layer, which is the black and white, which is attached to it. So now that I know it's just going to affect the model, I'm going to drag these sliders down just to make it a bit darker. And it's a live filter layer, so I can always, or live adjustment, so I can always change it later. But uh, this looks about good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I have this other photo here, which is this really cool, um, colorful alleyway. And what I want to do is clip this alleyway inside the model so it sort of takes over. Um, so to do that, I'm going to uh, click on the alley. Um, layer I have at the top here. I'm just going to click and drag it right over top of the model and drop it in there. Now you can see that uh, this um, alleyway is clipped inside of the model. So the model's up here and the alley is clipped inside of it. So now that I have that done, what I want to do is I want to still expose some of his face. I want to kind of show both of them. Um, so to do that, I have my alley layer selected. I'm going to go down to my mask here at the bottom of the layers panel. I'm going to click on mask. And I'm just going to click mask here. You will see that a mask icon appears here um, next to the alley uh, layer. I'm going to click on my mask and I'm going to grab my gradient tool over here in the left hand side. And I have videos on masking and gradients and layers. So all this stuff, if you're not familiar with it, just go check out uh, some of my videos. It explains everything. I'm going to click on my gradient tool here and then I'm going to try from about here, click and drag it this way. Uh, so I can expose a bit of both. So maybe something like, maybe like this. Yeah, this will work. Okay, so now I have my model that's gone uh, to with a black and white adjustment. I've clipped in the alley inside of the model and now I've applied a mask to the actual alley to show the alley and the model uh, at the same time. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add a background. So to do that, I'm going to go up to layer new fill layer and now you can see I have this black fill layer at the very top and what I want to do is I want to drag it um, right down to the bottom um, just so we have that background and then from there I'm going to go to my color tab and normally when you have a fill layer or certain type of layers you have this opacity um, slider up here which can bring down the um, basically the transparency of the layer but if you click on this little uh, button here it'll switch to noise Noise makes things kind of grainy. Um, it's like a little bit of an effect. And I'll just show you. I'm zooming in here so I can show you. What I'm going to do is turn up the noise on this black fill layer in the background. And you can see when I zoom in, 
See these little spots that are appearing, all this noise? So that's none and that's full. And what I'm gonna do is add some noise just for an effect because I'm gonna add some text later, which you'll see why, but I'm gonna add some noise to this, um, <clears throat> to this background here. Okay, so now I've got all that and we're gonna do another effect here. So um, with my model layer selected, I'm gonna go over now to my one of my selection tools. This one's called the Rectangular Marquee Tool. I don't use it too often, but it'll work perfectly here. So I'm gonna pick this uh, tool. My cursor is gonna to change to like a crosshair or whatever you wanna call it. And I just wanna select a part of this model, maybe, maybe like this here, this much. And you can see when I do that, I get these marching ants sort of appearing around it. And I'm gonna copy this particular part and to do that on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command J. On a PC, you'll hit Control J. And now you'll see in my layer stack, this new um, layer has appeared above. And the thumbnail looks a little bit different from the one below. So now I wanna deselect this because I've already made my selection. So on a Mac, I'm going to hit Command D. On a PC, you're gonna hit Control D. And I'll show you what I've done. I've just, I'm gonna turn this layer off. This is the new thing that I've, created. So I basically just copied a portion of the lower layer and made this here. So now I'm going to put an effect on this top layer to make it look kind of cool. Um, so I have this layer selected. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to layer, new live filter layer, distort. And I'm going to go to displace. <clears throat> now when this displace window comes up, I have a few different options. The first thing I'm going to do is change the load method from uh, red green offset to Sobel 3x3. This is their old the three by three is their old version, but it'll work for this. And after I select that, I'm also gonna click load map from layers underneath. So it pulls from somewhere. <clears throat> and as soon as I do that, you'll see it gets a little um, <clears throat> kind of pixelated. And what I'm gonna do is drag this all the way up. So it gives some kind of, kind of weird effect and that'll work for me. So I'm gonna turn that off now. So now I'm gonna go back and turn my original model, model layer back on. And now you'll see I kind of have this weird effect, this cool effect, um, like he's breaking up. <clears throat> and I can move this layer around and extend it and make it a little bit more kind of like it's he's coming apart sort of there. So <clears throat> this is what we have so far. It looks pretty cool. I might actually make both of these a little bit bigger. Let me see here. Just to fill more of the canvas here. Yeah, maybe something like that. <clears throat> okay, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is a final step. I'm just gonna add some text and then edit that text a little bit to make it a little bit more unique. So I'm gonna go to my text tool over on the left-hand side here, and I'm gonna grab and drag down, <clears throat> and I'm gonna call this in capitals, Death Digital. So I'm gonna drag this out, <clears throat> and the white text looks cool, but I'm gonna add some stuff to it to add it to make, uh, to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna go over to my um, blend modes over here, the top of my layers panel and I'm going to change this to um, soft light. Now you'll notice <clears throat> all this stuff you're seeing is the noise I added earlier. So this stuff here on the H is coming through because I have noise on this background. So if I were to turn this noise down uh, this layer it wouldn't come through as much. If you can see here I pull the slider down you don't really see as much so I'm going to pull that back up to where it was so you can kind of see it. So it's, it's partially for the text partially just for kind of a cool effect. So this looks neat. Um, I'm gonna alter this text a little bit further just to give it more of a, a cooler look. So I've got my text selected here in my layers panel. I'm gonna go up to layer, new live filter layer, distort, and this time I'm gonna pick perspective. <clears throat> and my perspective window comes up. You can see my perspective a thumbnail has appeared below the text here, so it's attached to it. And I'm just gonna um, mess with this guy a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe pull it up like this just so it has a bit a bit of a cool effect here. <clears throat> That'll work for me. So that's the top one, and I'm gonna do text down here. And actually, you know what? Uh, yep, no, that works. Digital. <clears throat> Pull this down here, and I'm gonna do the same thing where I change the blend mode over here. I'm gonna pick soft light again. I'm also gonna change the perspective. Uh, my text is selected. I'm gonna go up to layer, new live filter layer, distort and perspective. And I'm just gonna mess with these little boxes to change the perspective as well <clears throat> to make it look 
like it's going more in one direction. Maybe sort of like this. And uh, yeah, that's okay. Maybe I'll make the text a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> but that uh, will work for me. So um, we've made this whole composition only using two photos. So we had our original model, we had our colorful alley, we added a background with some noise, we added a displacement effect, we took a section of the picture and added a displacement effect, um, we added some text, to put a perspective on it, and this is what we get. So. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully you like this video. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love it if you could just tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you haven't seen my videos before and you found this helpful, if you want to subscribe, I would, I would just be your best friend. And um, I have more stuff coming. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Thanks.